I did photo come the carry. Whoever is interested to watch my shows, but how I matter the times, lives in times of Susan Rice can all be in a malady. As I did, I had to do to go back with me. But yeah, get a nata kuti malady. Of course, nata malady man. I think the channel is right. Slowly American hardcore. Please, I follow to the channel. I have a gift to meet you. I have a gift to meet you. Thank you very much. It's bad. It's bad. But after that, I took a brief message. I have a lot of people who come to me. Good morning. First Lady, as a Mesvin, President Girma, Acting Prime Minister Haile Mariam, members of the Council of Ministers, members of Parliament, Excellencies, distinguished guests, and the great people of Ethiopia, thank you for the privilege of speaking here today. We gather to mark a profoundly sorrowful loss for Ethiopia, for Africa, and for the entire world. Africa, Ethiopia, our shared grief is palpable. As in, congratulations, Kalana. But I mean, Smith, Kaustena, you. On behalf of President Obama, the United States government, and the American people. I wish to extend our deepest condolences and heartfelt sympathy for the untimely passing of Prime Minister Melis Zanawi. Our prayers are with the people of Ethiopia and most especially with Prime Minister Melis's beloved wife, Azab, and their cherished children, Semha, Senai, and Marta. Oh, the comp as the ad for Tom, Slezin Adatom, the Mul Ethiopia has in Sevi too. Nigelit. As we join you in mourning, we affirm our deep respect for and solidarity with the proud citizens of Ethiopia. And we renew our commitment to our valued partnership with the people and government of Ethiopia. I suspect we all feel it deeply unfair to lose such a talented and vital leader so soon. Talented, gifted, 
When he still had so much more to give. Melis was a friend, both to my country and to me personally. Whenever we met, no matter how beset he was, he would always begin by asking me about my children. His inquiries were never superficial. He wanted detailed reports. Detailed reports. Inside out. Detailed reports. Detailed malet. Kulu multi directional. Abtu murto ma gada biwato ma kulu ma gara malet. On their development, then satisfied, he would eagerly update me. And then their development to rock malna. Ma malet ato kaita rafa. Dharay update gabrani. Dharay yinagrani niru la. Ta yinagrani niru. On his own children. Melis was a proud father and a devoted husband. As he laughed about his children's exploits and bragged about their achievements, a face sometimes creased by worry would glow with simple joy. In his children and in all children, Mela saw the promise of renewal and the power of hope. Melis was disarmingly regular, unpretentious, and direct. Direct in Eru. Tagat Maga Evelyn. Tis a point is Zara Neru. The hard damn simple in Eru Lato. He was selfless. Tasawai, Nizhuana Sub, Nizhuana Nagan had the Suwa Sub in Eru. Selfless, but selfless mallet. When had he said his evil? Tireless and totally dedicated to his work and family. In the toughest of times, he retained that twinkle in his eye, his ready smile, his roiling laugh, and his wicked sense of humor. True, he never belied any lack of confidence in his judgments. He, he was tough, unsentimental, and some unsentimental. Sometimes unyielding. And of course, he had little patience for fools. Of course, in Ashatat, 
or idiots, as you like to call them. Idiots, and of course, he had little patience for fools or idiots, as he liked to call them. For among, among Prime Minister Mellis's many admirable qualities, above all, was his world class mind. A life, a lifelong student, he taught himself and many others so much. But he wasn't just brilliant. He wasn't just a relentless negotiator and a formidable debater. He wasn't just a thirsty consumer of knowledge. He was uncommonly wise, able to see the big picture and the long game, even when others would allow immediate pressures to overwhelm sound judgment. <laughs> Full of knowledge in consumer of knowledge to Knowledge the market if you were sick, and if you were sick, uncommonly wise, uncommonly wise, Kurvat Sabat Raha, Zunino, I need wisdom, Nero, with them, Lepona Nero, Lepami Nero, right off. Now, how are Israel big picture? Now, he's the one and he's the only problem for us. Now, how are you to meet far sighted individual in your last? Those rare traits were the foundation of his greatest contributions. Still, there was no shortage of occasions when as governments and friends, we simply, sometimes profoundly, disagreed. But even as we argued, whether about economics, democracy, human rights, regional security, or our respective foreign policies, I was always struck by two things. Mellis was consistently reasoned in his judgments and thoughtful in his decisions. And he was driven not by ideology, but by his vision of a better future for the land he loved. Personal issue so as you can a little color of the democracy that can be economy, the human rights. And I said that about net is a messer at Gales by my regional night area safety, get a matter of cool stability, nighty Zoberana. Now America foreign policy by Lucy Batami Gerben in you. Batami decibel I net knowledge in you. Modema, it is going on the number of decisions. Zos jos gum tat sini tame a unket a fitet stomorkesen a rider confidence. Bemit mamal 
I will deeply miss the challenge and the insights I gained from our discussions and debates. بتعمي مسك جبر اتزرخو زنوركو ادفانتيجات فتتات كاب سب ايس سو ازي مسك جبر اي Prime Minister Mellis was remarkably ambition ambitious وازيو تمنى ينيرو ambitious بالا تمنى حدا نقدر نخلو but not as is typical for himself He was both a son of Ethiopia and a father to its rebirth. Passionately proud to be Ethiopian. Melis was determined that you its people conquer your history poverty hunger and strife keep conquer kwolo na tsala kha na tsili na tiba aishmu tsimeto kelado zibala tsagama kitka lo wuto zibala na tinero Melis was profoundly shaped by the memory of fragile young lives snuffed out in the 1980s by folly induced famine and despair the torment azu tam so god abu mordin zkhone bet zinabere qol aqol lo tagadara qol malat kosho zinabere tmetat ab tsamat samanatat zabu ya ta'le zalla tigray kustir zabolo tmi of that terrible time spurred him to join in driving out the strong man who had turned Ethiopia into a parched field of sorrow asu ab atatiu baka nutat nakalili na Ethiopia matiu kemzin tawit tulala ab tigray ko zerm zem tuo ko nero ba al melas ko sir ko nero mutitaw mitmet zmatsako kullu had 100 million zakel stawatsako ka utrat 95 million spurred him to remake himself overnight from gorilla to statesman It spurred him to make sustainable development both a personal passion and a national priority. If fact Ms. Bali say as the bass of man no ba Soviet city lenient conco I tell for men along command okay man elit bahal trahiu na alam hak nagar zara bi luko kam so communist sko ka umru la al communist na zulu zina waruko radikum gilbet ilo bahasa i just care Ms. America at him to be so ma alta man al sulul i just care and it spurred him to resolve that Ethiopians will claim and maintain your rightful place as peacemakers and generous contributors on the world stage of other mistakes in the peace peacekeeping because bahal ko kelka na itsada okay ta ishu mgbar ko sato mzidadi wona ger mgbar kam zhiji Komos gorozolo abdu west africa na niger sini peacekeeping in kakta to niger kitu to mtsekhal mahbu awta tkafneri aba alam daraja si impress kiru na ila zara bala azig in ethiopia kama geratli ethiopia kama ridu even tagaru at this stage am tano tagaru so komotazhawneru hawaru hasbet tagaru tetabiso 
compared to what people are talking about is as about right now. For farsighted, Let's go with the near again. Come get out of the world. It results in I get night grime, night European conditions. Right? I see, but let's the number of the democratized here to have it after Hagger. Come get up. I should get up. Came back below. No, 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 تقرأت إبسا بيروم هنجي تو بوليسيو تي إن ريزالت ناتو أكاي دا إلا إزا أبرا Of course Melissa's vision and impact never stopped at Ethiopia's borders Across Africa fellow leaders look to Prime Minister Melissa to help them make peace and jumpstart their economies. He was instrumental in building the African Union. He made EGAD deliver. He confronted terrorism directly and countered violent extremists bent on undermining the state and the region he did so much to build. He worked vigorously to end bitter conflicts from Burundi to Liberia. He was crucial in the negotiation and implementation of the comprehensive peace agreement. أمول عالم زفرح عن كل تريد الرسوم بين التزاري بالا كل تريد الحادة نا إسرائيل نا نهود بحسب أي حادة ما يساسها فرشي بالا رأيه كم جمرة أي أتو قصة كأنهم لك رأي بس كي برجراتو أو كل سنة زازم تنظر ملش تزبلة السلام أو أخباري إلى كأت that ended Sudan's tragic civil war Prime Minister Melis was midwife to the birth of the world's newest state, the Republic of South Sudan. And he sought to nurse this fragile prog progeny to strength. After South Sudan, it's on the Kula Africa with the Hafi Rog and Tishilumolan Utra Sutrakan. I can also testify personally how much Ethiopia under Prime Minister Melis's leadership has given to the United Nations. And it's life-saving efforts from preventing and resolving conflict to striving to meet the Millennium Development Goals, from combating climate change to serving in UN peacekeeping operations. UN peacekeeping operations in the world, that was it, come to talk. It was about, Sardi was to come up, right on it, the America dollars, but it's a common of law. Maybe it could, you see it quite near what that there are, Ethiopia. Come to law, come to the owner of Americans, come up. No, okay, peacekeeping, peacekeeping, run on and have other derajah, then who cut the hand? This is my opinion. In fact, I hope our situation in America, the way we look at things, will improve ahead of time. Because I was not working at all under the uh, management of a very interesting uh, politician uh, like Susan Hurts. Okay. Most recently in Abia, these countries. I'm sorry, okay. Contributions remind us. She's not Susan Rice. I mean, Susan Harris. She's Susan, Susan Rice. I'm sorry, Susan Rice. That even nations facing their own challenges can make vast contributions to our shared security. On this mournful day, let me thank in particular President Girma, 
Acting Prime Minister Holly Miriam sanctions on Eritrea and dramatic displays of including 1907 passed two years ago this month. This resolution uh, underscores the international community's condemnation. Okay. Of Eritrea's destabilizing behavior in the Horn. The Horn of Africa is part totally destabilized Eritrea. Eritrea. Zanargola, we get out. May have a cool problem in that. And its support for terrorism. And its support for terrorism. Terrorism is not a problem. It strengthens uh, the provisions of 1907 and imposes additional obligations on Eritrea. More than my head, my sanction is to get back, get back. More, Miss Baal, my last queen, not to go to the never at Nagarat. Terrorism, I'm a time of terrorism. Limits its ability to continue to use many bear trust to the wash of Sudan. Men Somalia to the wash of South Sudan to the wash of Egypt to the wash of just Missoud Rasilas to us now. It's the mining sector and the diaspora tax to fund its illicit activities. We think this is an important step uh, that is uh, a, a good affirmation of the unity of the international community in response to the pleas that we heard from the leadership of the EGAD states this morning, who were unanimous in underscoring their concern about the threat posed by Eritrea and their call upon the Council uh, for stronger sanctions. I want to congratulate Gabon and Nigeria for their leadership uh, in sponsor sponsoring and shepherding the resolution. And I'm happy to take a couple questions. Well, Gabon and Nigeria and Amaskina, Tom Abzi. We don't think the resolution was rushed. Discussions began on the resolution back in October. There were negotiations throughout the month of November. On Wednesday, the council decided to schedule a vote for today, Monday. We issued an invitation on Wednesday evening to the Eritrean president to address the council Monday morning. On Thursday, Day, we got a letter from Eritrea saying that they didn't intend to come. Why would they come? It's already prejudged. On Friday, they applied for visas uh, at our embassy in Asmara. They applied for 13 visas on Friday morning. And were issued within a few short hours. The final three were issued before or by 10 o'clock the next day. All the visas were issued in 24 hours, and President Isaiah's was issued just hours after it was applied for, which I think. <laughs> As many of you know, is close to record speed. We had been expecting that the Eritrean delegation would arrive. Our embassy was awaiting details on their 
uh, flight yeah. information so that we could process that as we normally do. We have in Basila and it's a bell near Ranatu to get Tom Kinoan process to go to Abismara. I must lend it. It never came, and then we got another letter yesterday saying that for logistical reasons unexplained, they weren't coming. Uh, they had ample time uh, to be here uh, in person or through other means as the other EGAD delegations did, and uh, we have no explanation for their not being here except that they perhaps didn't like what was going to happen to them. I don't know, but all of them are going to monitor It's very difficult to work with the United States of America sometimes because shoot the tendency to dominate and just to get involved everywhere to order to give instructions to separate but i'm sure mrs rice played her role negative role in this situation as you can see very arrogant woman okay i don't think she is very much intelligent as such and self-interested of course a woman who had no mercy for the genocide in Rwanda and stuff anyway as you are telling to talk to not in a guarantee anyway. They said it. I met in America, Miss Mengistus in Tibet and not in Basta to Lala as if. But at the Sarara Hall, Matsum to Aradu, after the Venna Kum to Azazu, Melusup. Sort of lack due process to have the resolution already in blue and going to be voted on. Sort of like, what was the point of talking if everything was already set up? With no chance to go and check with capitals or to reconsider the resolution. No. Absolutely. It, it, they also, and I wanted to ask one other thing about what Russia said. Russia said that there wasn't sufficient proof provided of this alleged plot to, to attack the AU summit in Addis. Do you, do you think there was sufficient proof in front of the council on yeah. that? I'm in my car issue, you know, first of all, my loves what do want to get out of What are you over, Matthew Ganamer? The Kanaz. Not of the day, you won't get over your فرم وعيت وهابنا حسلي بيفرم وحراي وتم إيجاد كله بعال ما نزلنا وزغبر ونهاجرنا السودان ما حاول زغبر وكله بعال إيجاد على لوز كله نيرتراك أو ما يوم وكان ما له كم تعينة كريسيس كاين نيرو الحرب حدا وان تايلون نيرو أفتنا أفريقيا دراشة سني بامب كت جورو دنا إيريت لازم بعال دم أقدر أبغى كم نيرو بزعبوي إذا حتى زو أبدا صل لكنا جمال استسر حس راح يلم زود دخم ولا قليل وقت طيار كذا كذا هجد ما أب أفريقيا خ تجيبوا زبال بومب إريتريا بلاسكت كورا خ كميجر كتير يوم زبال هذا ما زبال تونا قرص ولا يا بزيد كيري أنا إنه مغناطيس أو خمان كسي سمان يروم من إريتريا بومب كت كبر let me address both those matters. First of all, you'll recall that Eritrea requested to address the council last summer. It sent its foreign minister and a senior presidential advisor. We spent a couple of hours with Eritrea and other uh, EGAD delegations hearing their uh, viewpoints. Uh, this was soon after the monitoring group report was made available. They had opportunity to address those allegations. We had a discussion. Uh, and a very full uh, exchange of views. So there was not any absence of opportunity for the members of the council to hear Eritrea's point of view and that of other regional states uh, in, to inform our deliberations. I hope you can get the answer to the question. I'm going to ask you now, I'm a foreign minister and the security advisor of Yemen, I'm going to ask you, 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 Okay, let's continue anyway. The Eritreans had the opportunity to be... They were not interested, I guess, because they knew that you were very biased, madam. ...here again today and make their case. They chose not to do so. The other EGAD states... took that opportunity, I think, to uh, good effect. Um, with respect to the Eritrea, Somalia Eritrea monitoring group uh, evidence regarding the plot, uh, the, the thankfully foiled plot uh, and planned attack on the uh, African Union summit in January. Uh, January, African Union summit, Mr. Manan's 
The evidence provided by the monitoring group uh, we know to be very compelling and we have every confidence in its full veracity. The monitoring group uh, the Ethiopian government enabled every embassy in Addis Ababa that wish to come and view the evidence themselves. Some took uh, the opportunity to do so, others didn't. I don't understand the basis for Russia's claim that the evidence was not available. Of course, it drops out to Sabit Honamagistuhon and Russia gain Murto Eleni Lomo. So as I read the Alo Russia, Simurto Eleni Bulu, or not compelling uh, from the United States point of view, we have Bugero Kakso and Ertrapa in the Gana, Bene America, Raya, every confidence in the veracity of that evidence. At the veracity to hack net night evidence is Mulu Mulu, the Amaman of Vinana, Bale. Ladies and gentlemen, I've come to a dozen of us. I don't know, can they skip that? Thank you very much. Announced a short time ago that his top domestic policy advisor, Susan Rice, is stepping down from her post. NBC News has learned her last day on the job will be May 26th. Well, she stepped, she stepped out finally. Kali Sevapes Kero Alomarati. Miss Susan Rice had to step down because Consequence America paid for her incapacity. Her departure comes as the president prepares to officially announce that he intends to seek a second term in the White House. With us now to Talk about this and more, NBC News White House correspondent Mike Memoli and NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki. So, Mike, Susan Rice has been in charge of immigration policy and a whole lot more at the White House. What do we know about why she decided to leave now? <laughs> After immigration, the bad policies, the mad ain't problem near you. I'm so low and tired, but I'm so I thought the name which anyway, he just a lot of net out. Well, Jose, as our colleague Carol Lee, who first broke this news, reports, it, the, Susan Rice had told her colleagues when she took this job two years ago that she only intended to really serve for two years. That I could afford the hand, the time at the right, sir, I did it in a red again, so then I found me that I don't have pressure on the moment. For whatever it is, what I think is that America is relieved from this kind of diplomatic errors. And then hopefully something will happen in the future. And uh, me as an American, I think we could do a lot better. So, Bugger, I can have a lot of people who are not going to be able to be English after not an English channel can go in of English. Kilite now, who's also a good time to be in the end, and not so easy. Thank you.